Welcome to another episode of Racing to Learn. We are a nonprofit that uses radio control to get kids excited about math and science. We are working on our ECX Ruckus brushless build again here, and uh, we've got an old brush model here in the background that we've been just kind of using as a reference if we need to look at stuff. Uh, again, we bought this as a roller off of eBay, and you know, there have been a couple things that have been wrong with it uh, in our last episode. Uh, we we uh, we we took a look at the gearbox. There were some metal fragments in there. Uh, the gears were good. Okay, the gears uh, were good though. Um, albeit, uh, you know, we so it was nice surprise to find metal gears in here, um, or else you'd have to buy a a new set, which is uh, you know about thirty bucks. Um, but a um, couple things, you know, because of the the metal fragments in the gearbox, we went ahead and cleaned out. Uh, all the debris here just just gave it a once over um, if you have time you know you can go ahead and wash this uh, out and let it dry as well yeah, there's there's some imperfections in the gearbox there one tricky part is this uh, there's a bearing that's uh, on this half of the gearbox and getting that out you usually want to have some sort of dental pick like this to, to kind of uh, gently pry the bearing all the way around to pop that out or else, you know, there's no way to, to, to push it out from the other side. So we, we got the gearbox all cleaned up, but we noticed that there um, is a significant amount of play here. If you, get, if you guys can see that, uh, that's probably about uh, you know, an eighth of an inch or two millimeters that this, uh, that this shaft is going in and out. Now actually it's on both sides. Um, so there's, there's probably a little bit too much play inside the gears in here. And, uh, you know, just as a sanity check, I was going to go ahead and open up uh, a new gear set here. Uh, again, that's part number ECX 9001, the metal gear set for all of the two wheel drive ECX vehicles. So I'm just going to cut this open and see what the play on a brand new differential looks like uh, so you know with other RC cars you you actually want to put in shims usually the four-wheel drive um, cars you, you want to put in shims just to remove some play uh, from inside the gears there and um, so it is a little bit less here and you can actually measure this uh, if you'd want to the, the, the play but um, it seems to be a good amount tighter than than this one so you know we're not going to go ahead and take the time to to break this down right now um, since we have an extra set on hand uh, we can go ahead and just use the new set first because this build we, we really want it to be rock solid well we, we can always give this other uh, differential a uh, once over um, I was actually curious as to whether people put fluid in these differentials so uh, you know, in a lot of other vehicles, you, you use uh, fluid, silicon fluid within these differentials to control um, how the diff feels, right? A, a higher viscosity will, will pr produce more of a limited slip uh, locking effect between the two. Um, so it, instead of just, uh, you know, if you, if you have uh, no grease, uh, or rather no fluid in a diff, uh, it open it acts as an open differential, which means that if you're uh, it will always put power to the the axle with uh, the least amount of resistance, which is probably um, what you don't want to happen. That's why they're they're limited slip differentials, which means that um, if you uh, you know if one wheel loses uh, contact with the ground or whatnot, you still will get power to the other wheel. Um, so that's that's uh, that's the definition of what a limited slip differential does. Um, in real automotive world, uh, in in the RC world, you'll usually have ball differentials or um, gear type differentials, and hopefully with a gear type, you can put in some silicon fluid to create that limited slip effect. So uh, we won't. Uh, maybe in the next video, we'll, we'll uh, yeah, actually that's a good idea. We'll, we'll get some fresh bearings around here. Uh, we also noticed that some of the bearings, you know, there's there's kind of a, a hodgepodge. There are some metal sealed bearings 
uh, in this uh, transmission and then there were some rubber sealed ones and um, you know we're not going to take the time to clean out all those bearings right now we uh, usually we like to do those in batches uh, just for efficiency so uh, we'll go ahead and just throw all new bearings into this and we'll uh, we'll go from there so thanks again for watching please like comment subscribe and we'll catch you next time